Hello, I'm Andrew Pizzelli, and welcome inside the first edition in the 2014 season of the Coaches Show. I'm here with head coach of the Salve Regina football team, Kevin Gilmartin. And Kevin, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And I want to start off by asking you, you've talked before about coming into the second season with the same systems in place and not having to completely revamp and reinstall things. How important is that for you, the coaching staff, and the players to have the same system already in place for a second year? Yeah, first off, well, the, for the coaches themselves, I mean, uh, this is the first year in uh, in six years that uh, Salve Regina has the same offensive and defensive playbook returning. I mean, that's one of the, that's a huge advantage in the fact that the players already know what they're doing before they even come into camp. Um, you know, and as coaches, having the you know most of the entire staff uh, returning, uh, that's a that's a huge bonus in the fact that we know how we're working together. Uh, you know, our strengths and our weaknesses, and how to help one another out. And so, because of that, we're able to grow as a coaching staff. And as players, I mean, they know what they're doing before they even came into camp. We did the fastest install that I've ever been a part of, and it's because these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. Kind of playing off that, what is the most important thing you learned in year one as the head coach that you'll take into year two? Well, the uh, I mean, I've worked with a lot of good coaches through my uh, through my tenure. Um, you know, from uh, from when I started at Hofstra University with Joe Gardy, uh, Greg Gigantino, uh, right up through to the end as an assistant coach with uh, working under Bob Chesney, um, and uh, they've all taught me some great things. And so because of that, I felt pretty confident going into it that I that I knew I could jump right into that role. And at the same time, I mean, every day you learn something new. I mean, so to put one thing on it, I, I can't really you know nail that. But at the same time, uh, one of the other things that you, you did notice is just how many other people were involved, you know, with the, with the program, not the administrative staff, you know, the support staff, the people on campus that care about the football program. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that, you know, meeting all these extra people that are coming out of the woodworks and rooting for you, I mean, that's, that's one of the great things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In your mind, what are the strengths of this year's team? We have 26 seniors, you know, this year. I mean, that's that's got to be the strength right there, right off the top of the bat. I mean, you got guys that have been in the program for a bunch of years. They know the system. They've gotten playing time throughout. Um, you know, we got a quarterback who's to start at the last game of his freshman year. You know, you got a you got a cornerbacks who've been playing for three years. You know, Frankie Musco and Phil Terrio. You know, both of them getting you know tons of time. Phil Terrio even started as a freshman. You know, whole defensive lines returning. Two of the three of the linebackers is our returning you know a lot of guys are returning um, because of that experience you know that's gonna that's gonna be the very helpful thing and because of that uh, you know we don't have to do anything fancy it's just we're gonna do what we do because they know what they're doing and now they can just run around and be athletes yeah finally what's your expectations for this season Oh, I mean, expectations, you know, uh, you know, my predictions, you never know. I mean, I'm not a poet or anything. I'm not going to be, uh, you know, throwing out any onomatopoeia or anything <laughs> out you there, right there. But, uh, but I definitely, uh, you mean, we're going to be exciting and we're going to, it's going to be fun. You know, uh, where it goes, you don't know, but uh, I think every team going into the season is, uh, you know, wants to go 1-0 and and everyone believes that they're going to go 1-0. One, one and uh, we'll find out whether or not we can get it done or not. Just worried about that first opponent, right? Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Head Coach Kevin Gilmartin of the Salve Regina football team. And I'm here with senior captain Dan Bonacore of the Salve Regina football team. And, Dan, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And first I'd like to ask you, what does it mean to be a captain of this football team? Uh, it's a great honor. Obviously, I got you know, elected by the team. And uh, Coach Gill, uh, it was awesome. I get to have uh, Frankie and uh, Hayden side by side with me. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge honor. I love it. I love this school. I got a lot of pride in the school. And uh, hopefully I can follow through with my duties and bring a championship to the school. So being a senior, what have you learned maybe from the past three seasons? What will you take with you into this fourth season? Uh, as a team, we fell short the last few years. Uh, something that you know, really holds you know, close to us. Uh, we want nothing but the best for this team. We want championships in the school, and obviously we weren't able to do it, but now we feel like we have the tools, we have the tangible uh, assets for this team to actually finish it this year. That chip on the shoulder is always good. It's huge. <laughs> and uh, lastly, uh, for you guys, not only just playing, but opening the season on a Friday night under the lights. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? And maybe how do you prepare for playing on a Friday and not a Saturday? Well, obviously it's a little different. You know, we have the Saturday games pretty much the rest of the year. We've had that for, you know, the past three years here. But uh, we love it. It's like high school football again. I loved it, playing under the lights Friday night. Game week's a little different. You know, got to bump everything down. But, you know, like we said, like today, you know, we have the last practice to hash everything out. Tomorrow's a walkthrough. And then, you know, Friday you get on the bus in the afternoon, you're ready to 
to go. Uh, we're excited. We love Friday nights. The whole team's pumped up, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. Would you like to say anything to the fans right now? Uh, come out and support us full force. Uh, I know the first game is away, but next week uh, it's against Montclair. It's a huge game for us, and uh, we hope we can, uh, I don't know, bring a championship to you guys. All right? It's for you. All right, Dan, thanks for being here. Senior Captain Dan Bonacore. I'm here with Senior Captain of the football team, Hayden Stanton. And Hayden, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'd like to ask you first what it means to you to be a captain of this team. Uh, you know, it was a great honor when I found out last spring, for the start of spring football, um, and being elected by my teammates as well as my, uh, my coaches. That was, like, the, the biggest thing for me. Uh, I've always thought of myself as a leader, and it was nice to see that uh, fulfilled in the, my teammates thought the same way and uh, I think all three of us uh, Dan myself and Frankie have all been stepping into the role and been growing as uh, as leaders on the field and off so uh, yeah it's a great honor yeah uh, being a senior what will you take from previous playing years into this season what will you carry with you the most in this senior year well obviously uh, the most experience I've been on the football field um, Taking into this year, I think I'm just gonna, you know, look back and most remember the journey that this year is gonna be. I think we have a really good team. Um, I think that we can get a lot of special things done here this year. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll just carrying in. Um, I'm gonna this is gonna be like one of the most memorable seasons of my life, and mm -hmm. it'll be a great one for us. And lastly, not just playing, but opening your season on a Friday night under the lights. You know, how do you guys feel about that as a team for you, and how do you prepare for that playing on a Friday? instead of the Saturday. Yeah, that's something special, you know. We, uh, I know I played all my high school football games under the lights on uh, Friday night. You know, it's something that, you know, it's just something in the air. The, the lights are on, on you. It's, uh, you're on, on the big stage. And opening the season, it's, it's great to have that. Uh, you know, it won't be as hot as a, a Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon will be. So uh, that we're really looking forward to that. A lot of guys have been talking about it. You know, we're excited, you know, bring us back to our high school days. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that'll be, it'll be exciting. And um, we're uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Great. And would you have any message for the fans right now? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, you know, come out. It's going to be a fantastic year. You're not going to want to miss one game. So uh, we love your support, and uh, great to see you out there. All right. Hayden, thank you for being here. Thank you. Senior Captain Hayden Staten of the Salvador Regina football team. I'm here with Senior Captain of the Salvador Regina football team, Frank Musco. And Frank, thank you for being here. Great to be here. Thank you. I'd like to ask you first what it means to you to be a captain of this team. Uh, it's a huge honor for me. Uh, we stepped into camp the first day. Uh, coach pulled the seniors aside and announced that I would be the third captain. Uh, it's really just a great honor for me, uh, knowing that my teammates want me to be one of the faces of this team. Uh, the 26 seniors, you know, the leadership definitely doesn't stop there, but it's a great honor and I take great pride in representing uh, our senior class and this team. Yeah. Being a senior, what have the past three seasons meant to you and what will you carry most into this upcoming season? Uh, the past three seasons, you know, we've made great progress uh, every step of the way. Obviously, we've fallen short uh, the past two years, but we have the confidence in our team and our conglomerate that we can get the job done this year and finally bring a title to this program, the one that it deserves. And finally, opening up and playing on a Friday night as opposed to a Saturday, what does that mean to you? How does it make you feel? And you know, how do you prepare for playing on a Friday night instead of a Saturday? I mean, it's exciting, you know, going back to uh, the high school days under the lights, uh, like everybody's been saying. Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity, great experience to show, uh, show the nation what we have uh, right away and uh, we'll get the job done. Yeah. Any message to the fans that you'd like to say right now? Uh, we appreciate all the support, obviously. Uh, come out. We're going to put on a show for you guys, and it's going to be a great year. All right. Frank, thank you for being here. Thank you. Senior Captain Frank Musco.